It's not that the independent Baptist movement just slowly got watered down or soft. Or, and you say, oh, why are you so down on the independent Baptist movement? You want to know why I'm down on it? Because I go up to Sipicue, Arizona, to the Apache Reservation, and I drive three hours with a group from our church to knock doors, and you know who's there also? Who was there, Brother Garrett? Who was there with us? Who'd we see? We saw the Jehovah's Witnesses. Who else did we see? We saw the Mormons. But you know who we didn't see? The stupid, lazy, worthless Baptists. That's who we didn't see. Even though, well, is there a Baptist church in Sholo, Arizona? Is there a Baptist church in Payson, Arizona? Is there a Baptist church in Lakeside, Arizona? Is there a Baptist church anywhere in that county? Is there a Baptist church in this state that would reach somebody with the gospel besides Faithful Word Baptist Church driving three hours, four hours, five hours, and these idiots want to sit around and criticize us and say, oh, oh, he didn't do the Lord's Supper. The way, No, you're wrong on the Lord's Supper, and you're also letting the whole world go to hell with your stupid once-a-month soul winning program. Once-a-month soul winning, you let the whole world go to hell. And then they go out and give out a tract. A stupid door hanger in some rich part of Phoenix so they could get the tithing. You won't find them down in Sacaton, Arizona. You're not going to find them up in Sibicue, Arizona. Because there's no money there. Because and then, and then you know what? These fools. And listen to me. I'm sick of it. I'm taking the gloves off. You know what these bunch of dispensational idiots say? Oh, well, you're going to start a church in Sibicue now that you won those people to the Lord? Oh, you just got those people saved, and now they're just like sheep having no shepherd. Well, you know what? You're letting this whole stupid world go to hell. And then you have the gall to ask me, well, are you going to provide a church? Why don't you provide a church for them in Solo, Arizona? There's already a Baptist church. I just wish it was worth a dime. And then it's our fault. We go down to these cities, we go to these Indian reservations, we go to these places, and we do the job that they're failing to do to give the gospel, and then they have the gall to say, wait, you going to plant a church there? Why don't you turn your stupid church around, and then we can tell them to go to your church if you quit preaching lies, if you quit preaching heresy, if you quit bringing in all these stupid fools like Sam Gipp to come tell everybody that Jesus is not supposed to be named Jesus. Let me tell you something. There's a reason why this world's going to hell. There's a reason why that the Mormons and the Jehovah's Witnesses are teaching all their lies and getting way more doors knocked than the Baptists and why the Baptist churches are dropping the ball and failing in Arizona and all over America. There's a reason why, because they've been infiltrated by unsaved people. And I'm talking about the guy behind the pulpit. I'm saying a lot of these pastors are not even saved. And they've been planted there by the devil. While men slept, the enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. These demonic deacons and demonic pastors and demonic evangelists and demonic missionaries have been put behind the pulpit to pervert everything about being a Baptist. And pervert the gospel, pervert doctrine, and they're running, and, and the people in the pew are following their lead. And most of the people in these independent Baptist churches in the pew, most of them are probably saved. But I believe that the guy behind the pulpit in many cases is literally, literally a Judas Iscariot. How, how, otherwise, how do you explain it? And you know, I'm sick of all these little baby Christians that they're like, oh, let's stop fighting. Hey, listen, Brother Rodney King, why don't you shut up and let a man of God fight a battle in our generation? Amen. You know, I'm not going to let this country be taken over by these bunch of phony Baptist fools. Half their congregation agrees with us. And these idiots need to be thrown out of the pulpit, and they need to get an actually born-again man of God behind the pulpit who knows the name of Jesus and knows Bible doctrine and who actually gives a rip about unsaved people who are dying and going to hell all over Arizona and all over America. Bunch of idiots want to pick us apart. Bunch of losers. Bunch of failures. Huh? 
I said failures. You know what? Any church that scales back soul winning to once a month is a joke and a social club and it's ridiculous and they're playing games and they're playing church. And any church that only goes soul winning twice a month or once a month, I, I promise you it's a door hanger. I promise you it's a tract. Why don't you I, come up to me after the service and explain to me why Mormons do more soul winning than Baptists. Can somebody come up and explain to me why the Jehovah's False Witnesses are knocking more doors than Baptists? It's not because of people like me. And you can say whatever you want about your stupid Israel. And, and you know what? Nuts to stupid Israel. <laughs> to hell with them. They hate Jesus Christ. And if any man love not our Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema. Yeah. Maranatha. Amen. Oh, the, the, Israel, our glory. No, Christ in you, the hope of glory, except Christ isn't in you because you're an unsaved false prophet. And listen to me. My heart breaks for the unsaved of this country. And you know, I'm going to do something about it. If we have to evangelize this whole state by ourselves, we'll do it by ourselves. And then we'll evangelize the whole nation. We'll send out preachers to be like us, not like Sam Gipp. Not like these rucktards and idiots. Not like these bunch of ruckmanite, dead as a doornail. Dis oh, we're living in the land of sin, church. Yeah, you are. You are. But set before us is an open door that no man can shut. We're Philadelphia Baptist. Oh, we're living in the land of sin, church age. Speak for yourself. And so, you know, I'm, I'll stop fighting it when I win. That's when I'll stop. 